Hi friends, and welcome to Inside Heidi's Mind, episode 23. Um, it's 12.53 p.m. I have to be in my practicum in seven minutes, so I have a little bit of time to talk. But it's going to be November, like next week. Um, it's the point of the semester where, you know, some days I feel like I'm perfectly fine, and other days I feel like I'm drowning and I don't know what to do, and I'm being pulled in multiple directions. And that's happening in my personal life, in professional life, in every area of life. Um, between talking with a financial advisor and getting them some things situated for different accounts, to um, school, to visiting home while still taking a class that I'm on a wait list for and I hope I even get into because I need it to graduate. Um, there's so many things. Registration for spring semester is already next week. Three out of four of my classes are online, so that's cool that I live 1,200 miles away from home. And three out of four of my classes are online. Um, so trying to keep in the mindset that I'm still like meant to be where I am for a reason. Um, and I'm meant to be like in school for a reason. Um, I keep looking up wages of how much counselors make and I don't understand. I. I get kind of frustrated because my dad makes the same amount that I'm going to make with a master's degree after getting myself into like $75,000 in debt. So love that. Um, but I know that if you focus on the things like that, that are big and stuff right now that you're really not going to get anywhere with your goals if you're constantly focusing on the things that seem like you can't even reach them. You're not going to get anywhere if you focus on the things that are holding you back and the things that you're afraid of. Um, and I was just listening to a song called Promise Land by Toby Mac. And I definitely, um, it explains my life. Like feels like you just can't, you can't catch up with life and everything. Um, I've been getting phone calls um, from people that I don't wanna get phone calls from. Don't know what to do. Might have to change my phone number again. Um, I, I've i been basically counseling a couple of uh, people that I shouldn't be counseling. When you go to school for school counseling, you should not be counseling your friends or your family because those are the people you love and care about. So obviously you're going to put more of a personal um, outlook on it and it's going to affect you and what you think of them and how you react to them when you're around them. And it's just not healthy. So, yeah, I've been counseling people that I should not be counseling that kind of expect my guidance just because I'm going to school for counseling. And I, like, still want to be there for them. But, like, looking at it from this perspective, it's really hard. Um, this semester has been sucking every little part of me out. Um, I'm maybe working more in November so that I have more money for going home in December and that's great but at the same time not because it takes literally all of my time so we'll see what happens I did not mean for this to be a negative Nancy I'm not that type of person but um, yeah I'm just really stressed and I hope that if any of you watch this that are close with me you know that I love and care about you but that I literally have no time to have a conversation that's either a quick text or uh, a half an hour long, which I know are a majority of my calls. And it sucks because I have this fit team at home health and wellness business and I have customers quitting on me because they're expecting me to be responsible for their orders that they get emails for every month that I give them their ID and password for when I sign them up um, for them to adjust and then give me questions when they need them, not just to expect me to control every order that they have. like any other company you are in control of your order and you are in control of what you get and when it comes i have ordered through money i've ordered through it works i've ordered through fit team i've ordered through herbalife like i've ordered through all these things i was always responsible for my account i never ever ever once blamed or expected my coach to do all the work for me and so i don't expect people to do that for me um so that's been flustering because I love fit team and I want it to be a positive environment I want to be a person people look to and expect guidance and know that I'm gonna be there for them but it's 
frustrating when they get mad at me for something that goes wrong that's not my fault at all. And then they ghost me when they're in their 30s or late 20s or even 40s and they're acting like a child. I've seen so many childish situations with people who are in their 30s and 40s lately and it's insane. It makes me actually feel like I've done a lot with my life and that I'm mature for my age. So, yeah, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do, but we're living life one day at a time because I have literally a headache right now from not sleeping, not sleeping enough and just everything from a day-to-day -day basis. Like, I'm this close to quitting, but I know that I have to keep going because I am this close to graduating and I was that close when I started. So, we're like halfway there. Gotta keep going. Gotta be positive. If you know me, send me a positive message if you watch this whole thing. Much appreciated. See you in episode 24.